Our team coverage continues in Bibb County. Parents had to pick up their children early from a South Macon daycare after a tree fell through the center's roof. Staff says no one was inside the building when the tree came tumbling down. About an hour ago, the street was blocked off because Georgia power crews were out fixing a downed power line. Staff at the daycare asked parents to pick their children up early so they didn't have to drive in the rain as it got dark. Director Cheryl Lawrence says everyone went to a safe part of the building away from windows in the hopes of calming the children down. It did scare us a lot because when, when it went down at first, the winds were really blowing very hard. It was raining. We couldn't see anything. And uh, we were looking up, and my big concern was go in the emergency mode. Yeah, staff at the daycare say they used to use that building for after school and summer programs. It gets flooded. It looks like we live on a lake, and you can't even see the ditch because it's so flooded. Yeah, that's the look on Cary Drive right off Hartley Bridge Road in Macon. April Reeves says she's worried about the water coming into her house and flooding their bedroom. Reeves says she's called the city about fixing the drainage ditches. Macon Bibb Emergency Management Center issued a few road closings for flooding. Ansley Nichols live on Bay Street where that road is blocked off. Frank and Lori, last time you checked in on us, we had this massive waterfall that was coming down here off the side of the bridge here on Bay Street. It's actually kind of slowed down a little bit, and that's because it's not raining as hard here right now. But there are still a lot of pools of different standing water here. Now, earlier, Macon Bib EMA Director Spencer Hawkins says that they had to block off Bay Street from Broadway to 6th Street because of this flooding, and they didn't want anyone driving around here. Now, they say that's because the sewer drains and storm drains get really backed up when there's a lot of heavy rain. But, uh, you know, as you can see, still a lot of water out here. We're not sure if it's going to go anywhere anytime soon, but we'll continue to update with you with the row conditions here. For now, live in Macon, Inslee Nichols, 13 WMAZ News. All right, Inslee, good to hear the rain is letting up at least a little. Flooding also seems to be a problem in some parts of Putnam County. Chelsea buying for is live where some folks in the area are having trouble getting home from work due to flooding. Yeah, Frank and Lori, one family that didn't actually have trouble is the Morgan family. They saw us out on the road and invited us into their backyard, which is looking a lot more like a lake right now than a backyard, frankly. So I'm going to step out of the shot and you can see behind me back where the tree line starts is where Murder Creek is. So you can see just how much water has come all the way up from the creek, just feet away really from their house. Now, earlier when we were out on the roadway, there was a part of Twilight Shores Road that was beginning to get really flooded at the bottom of a hill. Emergency officials, of course, always say turn around, don't drown. You don't know what's under the water like debris or glass. Now we did see several cars drive over it in the last few hours. Luckily, they all made it out safely and we did see a few animals and beavers actually get swept over into the creek from the wash, the rushing water. Now about an hour ago, some neighbors came out to talk to us. A man named Jesse Cromer has lived here on Twilight Shores Road for 20 years and says this has happened two or three times since he moved in. About every five, six years, you know, you get a lot of rain coming in here. It's, it's ungodly. They didn't shut the road down about two or three times. They can't keep up with water to come through here. Now you can see my boots are just a few inches underwater, much better than some other houses and roads across the country. I talked to Sheriff uh, Howard Sills of Putnam County within the last 30 minutes. He did say luckily there have been no accidents and no injuries across the county, but they are continuing to monitor those situations throughout the rest of the evening. For now, reporting live in Putnam County, Chelsea Bynfor, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Chelsea.